guys, before we were done, I guess we're just going to keep it running. Yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah, so here we are. Losers Finals, LOF Blue versus 6WX. We'll have to see if the Sonic does end up coming out. Um, um, they made that march, like, swiftly. Yeah, I guess I, I know Moose and Chris said that they have some stuff going on tomorrow that they want to make sure they're out of here, like, as soon as they possibly can be. Right. So it makes sense that they just kind of run it. Normally, you don't see people just lose in winner's finals and immediately play, I mean, right. and loser's finals. But I guess, given the circumstances, I mean, th this is honestly the only time I've ever seen this happen at this venue. So this isn't, like, a regular thing. But, you know, if they got to do it, they got to do it. Right. We're going to get right into it. 6WX starting off by building up a lot of damage into um, blue. And Blue's having a lot of trouble landing. This is that big body of Charizard coming into play. Mm. Going for it all with that, that F-Smash, smash, yeah. Man. But still, regardless, this damage is undeniable. Oh! Ah. The shield pressure from 6WX! Blue just can't, couldn't do anything! He just should have just, like, tucked his, like, head down between his ankles, like... Yeah. Oh my gosh! He literally just had him exactly where yeah. he wanted him. Just completely pushed him About right off the edge, About to send Charizard back to the daycare, do some laps, level him up. Listen, man, he's going to walk back right to that egg, bro. He's going to sit in that incubator for another, like, yeah. 10 miles at 10 kilometers. Ooh, goes for the dunk, gets denied by yeah. the up air. And Blue just cannot do anything. 6WX is turning up the pressure right now. Put I'm honestly surprised down, he bro. didn't go for the side B right there. The super armor would have protected him. Just put your controller down, Oh, going for it all with the fair. 6WX is just relentless right now with this pressure. My man, put your controller down, bro. And the sweet spot definitely would have taken him out, but unfortunately only getting the sour spot. It's not going to work out this time. Oh, wow. Blue picks up his controller. And actually remembers, hey, I have to kill this guy with 137 damage. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Oh, my bad. I thought we were playing. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was America. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Blade Beam gonna keep him off the ledge. Up air, not gonna quite do it yet. He caught, he clocked Charizard right in the head. As soon as he did the regular getup, he just ran up and slapped that mm, sore right, in, right under the chin, man. That's messed up. Six WX animal abuse out here. I know, right? Back, Mr. Right. Kidding. Like, I know you're upset that you lost to a child, but, like, you don't need to come yeah, out man. here and beat, po beat Pokemon up. Listen, like, man. He ain't playing no games with the cloud. That cloud is on rage mode, yeah. bro. But actually. Run back. Look how fast we get into the stage selection. He Did he switch characters? Or is he still nah, he's staying with the Charizard? Okay. He believes in himself. And, I mean, if he doesn't, then who else will? So, gonna start off with the up smash. I know that's something that he loves to do on the stage. But now, cloud things begin. Up tilt. Looking like Mario out here. But honestly, like, what do you really think about this matchup, Cloud v. Uh, Charizard? I, I think honestly, it's horrible for Charizard. Yeah, looking at it on paper, I really don't understand what how you What can Charizard to do to Cloud? He's not that fast in the air. He's kind of fast on the ground, which I guess is, like, his thing. But, like, if Charizard's in the air, with his big body combined with his, like, pretty slow airspeed, it's like, what do you do? I don't know. I really <laughs> feel like there's got to be a way that that gimp works out for you in the long run. Oh, but I don't the wrong think that it does. Attack. Like, as oh, looking, great tech. Like that flamethrower on the edge. It literally that brings will him do closer, it. you know? Yeah. What do you do? I don't know. That's a tough tough thing. Trying to get the falling up air. Not going to quite connect. The, the flamethrower just barely keeping him out. And 6WX a little too slow on the punish right there. He's going to get caught. Um, back air just sent him off. To oh! Oh! There was. And, you know, he's just got to, he, he's gotten hit multiple times by Flare Blisses that Blue just kind of did just to get back to the stage, trying to punish them, and it wasn't really worth it. So, a side B, I'm not sure if it'll do it from center stage. It's closer to the edge, it probably will. Um, we'll see. Oh! Well, it will even it up. So, 6WX down 58%. But, certainly, Cloud has shown us time and time again that a couple good hits can easily close this gap in no time. See, what the thing is, what Blue's doing right here is just, it looks like, I think he's just found the spacing completely and where he goes, all right, this is where I want you, Cloud. I want you at back range, back air range, and I pretty much want you at jab range. Rare. Bam. He's just throwing him out. Keeping it really, really safe because it seems like as soon as Cloud gets in, like, that quarter of roll range. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. Sweet spot back air will take it out. Blue coming back. Strong response on his counter pick. That's really hard to, to notice, though, mid-game, though. You know what I mean? Okay, what's the perfect spacing so I can punish this guy? Yeah. And I think Blue just found that range, and that range seems to be a whole roll, like a whole rolls range. Because yeah. as soon as he gets to that range, Blue just spaces a back air, and it literally hits him if flush. It, and if that back air hits your shield, it's just like... Oh, man, that's a wrap. That man. shield pressure is ungodlike. Yeah. So, FD is what 6WX's answer will be. That's I don't it. know. I... I 
I don't really like this. I would like, yeah, this is like what I would think his counter pick would be for Sonic, but yeah. like, I don't, um. Maybe it's a comfort pick. Yeah, I guess so, because Cloud really doesn't gain too many benefits. I don't think he really likes FB like that. Um, but regardless, I mean, this guy certainly a far better player than I am, so I sure. I'll trust his opinion on this. He chose this stage for a reason. And right now, it's not looking like a good reason. He's getting a little bodied at first, but starting to close the gap. This is what I was talking about. How's Charizard land? Does a good job, Blue does, um, by getting out of there, breaking that up with um, Down B. I think it's Down B. Um, uh, Blade Beam is going to get us uh, Blue off the ledge. And that was a very good option because he was having trouble figuring out what to do against Flamethrower for a while. I was smashed out of shield, going to um, punish that down air. And I now think that with Blue pretty much just maintaining stage control throughout the game, it just seems like he's having a really, really easy time with just walking 6WX down here in this matchup. And he's not really having to flex too hard. And mm, you're not going to get that uh, last minute limit. <laughs> last minute limit. <laughs> but uh, pretty much, it seems like the uh, strategy here that Blue's pretty much exercising is, all right, I'm going to space him out, keep him at a rolls distance. Once I get him off stage, nothing fancy. Just bam, F tilt. Bam, yeah. hit the flamethrower. All right, go back to spacing him out. And it's a, it, it's just back to business as usual. Oh, very right? nice spot dodge on the flare blitz. Mm, and that raw F smash is not going to get him much. This might be the end of uh, 6WX's cloud. If he loses this match, like, the way it's going right now, I don't see how he wouldn't go Sonic. Well, I gotta say this, is that in this in this type of matchup, where, oh, excuse me, you're literally at tournament stock, I really don't see um, uh, hyper-aggression really working out for you. Because the other player is clearly just getting progressively more patient, leaving more openings for yourself. And as a top player, I'm pretty sure 6WX is aware of that. Yeah. You know? Ooh. Oh, very nice option. Very nice option. I like that. Oh. Uh, 6WX is going to charge that limit. Mm. And the Flips back the air. Hope you Sweet Spot might have just done the job, but regardless, uh, 6WX will hang in there. Creeping up towards that death percent. Uh, Blue going for the down tilt to send him off, but it's not going to quite connect. Or is that a job? Whatever. Um... Gotta burn the up B because of the flamethrower. All burn that the work, up man. Um, <laughs> Burning, baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you got it. it. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> Six W X is gonna get the grab. And the fairy, he's, uh, fly. I, he definitely takes that damage. Blue going for that raw fly, trying to end the game soon. And um, Six W X did a good job because he was in a bad situation being a low Charizard, below Charizard off stage like that. So he definitely needs to get out of there. Well, and now the pressure is starting to begin. Yeah, Six W X is not letting up even for a second. He knows that right now he's not an up throw kill percent, so he can build up the damage kind of without fear. Mm -hmm. But one more hit and he will be able to die for the up throw. Six W X just Ooh. right now DIing his freaking mind. Yo, what is going on? Here's the thing is that you can fake momentum here and you oh, really, really gotta be all. careful. Oh, and there we go. Exactly how we, exactly and how you call that, it. That fake was momentum, honestly, man. I love six, but that was a very poor decision. Trying to ed trying to edge guard Charizard's up B with down air. Edge guard I Charizard. Mean, yeah. Like, his up B has that um, super armor on it. So even if he would have hit the dare, it's not like he would have died. And then, yeah. and then he put himself in a really bad situation to try to come back. Would you say that Blue had the Char's hard reads? Mm. Bro, you got to stop. Mm. Honestly. You're, you're my boy? Mm. You got to stop. Char is hard. So, you, see, you know why he switched to Sonic? <laughs> he's trying to outrun your bad jokes. Oh, my God. You got but he's too <laughs> slow, man. <laughs> Anyways, Six is gonna um, Six is gonna finally go Sonic. Show us what we've all been waiting oh, for, really. Wow! Already out of the gate, starting with some foot rules combos, man. <laughs> Listen to guys. No, <laughs> I got more b terrible puns on deck. Just wait. <laughs> Anyways, Six WX putting on a clinic to start this game. Blue clearly not ready for the Sonic right now. Yeah. He's overwhelming him right now with 93% and climbing. It just seems as though 6WX is running through him. Oh my lord. I'm gonna do <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, I, I think that here in this matchup, it's just like speed is literally gonna be the answer here. Yeah. Which is really funny is because Char uh, Cloud definitely had that same type of momentum that he could have built, but yeah. this is definitely a pace change that Blue was clearly not ready for. Definitely, definitely. 
Um, that, yeah, it's so much different from Cloud. Up air, not going to quite do it yet. Charizard a little too heavy. But a back throw near the edge might do it. I know an F smash certainly will from pretty much anywhere, really. At this um, point, you can definitely see the, the change in momentum here. But you're playing a pretty decent Cloud from a national level player to the best Sonic in the world. Yeah. Oh, back air, not going to connect and take that sock. And this, mm. just going to send him off stage. Definitely not going to kill. Oh my wow. god, Six has got to be careful for those flare blitzes. And there's yeah. splash damage there. Yeah. I didn't know that. The, hip, the explosion hitbox, they actually buffed that a few patches ago to make it a little bigger. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Um, Six WX got to get creative to take out this kill. Charizard with this amount of rage, you don't want to mess around. A back air just might take him out. El Oh, See, the thing, when he air dodged stopping. and blue waited, I thought that was it. I thought the um, up B was coming and that was going to be it. Yeah, he seems to just be short stopping back, and bam. Back air definitely going to do it at 190% plus. So now Six is going to take the stock advantage on his counter pick. Um, the jab is going to send Sonic up in the air. But oh, very nice awareness by Six getting out of there with that up B. Wanted nothing to do with that flare blitz. Yeah, one thing is that with Sonic here in this matchup, pretty much being able to overwhelm Charizard. The only thing is, is that his moves seem to kind of get very, very repetitive. Blue seeming. going for these up Bs, trying to catch Six with the super armor. Yeah. And uh, Six WX did a good job that time. He did a few times um, spin dashing in and Blue tried the up B. And so he was like, all right, I'm just going to come grab you now. Yeah. You're going to try to wait for up B out of shield. I'm just going to grab you. So and Sonic, I mean, this is the other thing about Sonic's uh, speed is that you can't really, if you're not really familiar with this matchup, and then you're just seeing several different spin dashes, you're not really certain exactly what moves the are up smash is gonna like pick him up from in front of him. Yeah, that's crazy. Really I'm just saying, like right now, it's it's really tough to to discern whether or not. Okay, is that down? You know what I mean? Six W X is really mixing up the difference between all the spin dashes, and with them looking so very similar, you know, yeah. between down uh, the down B and the side B. He's just yeah. really doing an excellent job of just mixing up his moves. How, if you, I mean, for those of you out there who are pretty much not a huge fan of Sonic, <sighs> man, you gotta wait to exhale right there on yeah. that smash. Uh. Not gonna do it across the stage, but oh, that one would have d done it if it connected. So now this is um, an interesting percent. Blue probably only needs about 30 more percent with the amount of rage that he has before he can take out a uh, Sonic with up B. And I think a back air, if he connects it towards the edge of the stage, it just might do it right now. So Six has got to make sure he ends this stock sooner rather than later. Mm. Back though, definitely going to go ahead and bring some more momentum in Blue's favor. Yeah. At the end of this match here, it just seems like Blue's steadily trying to just creep up for the right spacing here on Sonic like he did with Cloud. But it doesn't seem like he's making that adjustment as quickly. It, it seems like roll, roll up throw? distance is definitely not there. Bro. That'll do it. Terrible DI from Blue. I guess he was maybe DIing expecting the back throw? Because he went straight up. That should never happen. No, Blue should not count a pick with his Mega Man. He needs to keep them Mega Frauds out of this matchup. Talking about his name. Yo, man. Put that, put that down! <laughs> Come on, man. That's not even mine. Yo, my yeah, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry to hurt these beats. Out of here. Anyways, game five. Here we go. Dreamland is the pick. Charizard. See you, Gio. Later, Gio. Take it easy. All right, so I'm gonna go to Dreamland, man. Oh, oh these my. back air chains. My. You know, oh. I've seen the fair plane. I've seen the nair plane, but never the bear plane, man. <laughs> I could have not laugh at yeah. that. I like the bear play. We're going to keep that one. Mm. Oh, man. So <laughs> we're going to go right back in here. And uh, 6WX taking a point of damage, man. Man, he is showing, like, the Sonic is legit right now. He is not messing around in the slightest. At all. It's like when you're running through the stage, you know what I mean? You got that Super Sonic on, you jump up in the air, you already know what time it is. Oh, Sonic that could have been an F smash right there. Well, he needs to do something, man, because uh, I, I, I think that he needs to put, start putting damage on Sonic. Or, oh, God, I clenched. And, oh, Blue with the unfortunate SD going a little too deep from the edge guard. And I, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Just YOLO with that flare blitz. Ding! That was the sound of your hopes and dreams about to get shattered right there. It's <laughs> not yeah. special. Because yeah. Sonic is definitely oh, not no. to Blue's kill starting to rack up the damage now. And now, 
6WX is going to continue the pressure, not letting Blue land for anything. Oh, oh finally man. catching the two frame with the F smash. And now, no edge guard attempt there. But he's going to get the damage as soon as Blue gets back on the stage. And Blue is just having trouble figuring out how to land. His counter pick kind of betraying him right now. Yeah, really. At this point, with Dreamland at his counter pick, I'm really wondering what was he really looking for? Was he looking for off the top kills with. Uh, it must have been. I mean, if he gets fly? an F up throw on that top platform, that's. Brutal. Yeah, I, I um, can definitely see that killing a lot earlier with the platforms. However, Sonic with that trampoline. Pff, oh, about very it, nice out of shield grab. Six was kind of waiting to see what Blue did. Um, try to grab him, and Blue is very. Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. Oh no. Nah, man. Seismic toss, man. This is not very effective right yeah. now. Wow. Sonic must be like a low level or something. Didn't do that much damage. <laughs> right now, Blue's just struggling right now to just find an answer. Oh, that'll do it. It seems like just general spacing and general attacks are just so seeming to find their mark here. And it's just unfortunate yeah. for Blue, who just literally had what seemed like the damage lead. Is this another case of that fake momentum where you just, you think you're winning and you think you're doing very good and you feel like you're making a comeback and then, well, I just got up to my head out of Every time I hear that sound, I'm just sitting there thinking, he's about to get the rings knocked out of him. Yeah. He's just going too fast. Mm. It's just really funny, because in the Sonic game, you literally have eight seconds to get through the stage, and you get through it in like two minutes. But in Smash, he needs like all six minutes to yeah. beat everybody. Yeah, it is funny. You know, Sonic, man, one more one more up throw will probably do it on the lower ceiling of Dreamland, especially now at 187%. An up throw definitely will do the job. Blue has to not get grabbed, which against the best Sonic in the world is a very tall task. Although that back air might have did it if it connected with the amount of Oh, replay. absolutely. And um, pretty much here, the, the last thing is Blue's going to want to do is just kind of uh, take this match, you know, um, lightly. Because at this point, oh, Seismic Toss, still not enough. Sends him into the blast zone. damage. Yeah. No, get the six me. doesn't end this. So oh, up throw, that'll do it. Yeah. And 6WX advancing to Grand oh, Finals. See that re was that that reverse the O real quick, though? Um, no, 6 won the first game. Oh, and then Blue bad. won two in a row. You're right. Um, but we'll see if he can get this reverse 3-0 in... Um, well, I guess it would be a reverse 2-0 in sets no, in man. Grand Finals. And 6WX is coming right back to get his run back with the great Gonzalez. Yeah, man, he's pissed. He's been showing it out. He's been yeah. showing that in, like, the last couple of losers yeah. back matches. Yeah, 6, man. He he, he has the badges to train Charizard. Six, Let's go. Survival. Oh, man. So, here we are at the end of the tournament.